Hey guys, this is Owen the Grizzly Bear Spy Handyballs, and yeah, I'm gonna keep going with my Alice Maddox Trans playthrough. So, first off, um, I don't know what happened with the last video, the game crashed on me, and like, like I just don't know what the hell happened. I'm actually still sitting at the uh, thing recording here, and this is like, I, I don't know what it was that happened, but look, turns out that I didn't get a save point, so I suppose that I can actually. You know, it's, I'm not too far back, so that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, obviously if I'm still sitting here recording with on the same day as I recorded the last video, I'm uh, still using the same setup, and I was just having fun, just having fun with the game. So I just thought, like you know, no point in stopping just because I don't want to record more. You know, I can still play it, I can still have fun with it. So that's what I'm gonna do, and hopefully. I can avoid any more crashes because I don't know what what it is that happened there. I think I think maybe it was just it was just some sort of problem with uh, Microsoft Visual Studio or something. Apparently, uh, I didn't try to debug it. I just restarted the game up and looked at the end of the last video because um, yeah, I don't know what the hell the problem was. So we're gonna go collect the bottle. We're not gonna break the urn this time in case that was the problem and there was nothing in the urn last time. Anyway, so. Hopefully, yeah, it looks like I'm good, looks like I'm good. Happy game equals happy Owen. Okay, um... Sorry, I had to mute the mic there just so that I could breathe for a second. It's uh, still really awkward. I honestly can't wait until my new headset gets here and I might actually be able to do something about this sound problem that I'm having. Right issues there, a bit of lag on the game and everything. Uh, but yeah, oh Jesus. Oof. Ducks. Well, who, who doesn't like duck? I mean, look, it's very, it's actually a very nice meal. I actually nearly blanked on the evade button there and I nearly just shrunk in front of him to take the hit. That would have been really, really bad. Let's get these teeth because uh, upgrading is actually really important in this game. If you don't upgrade, then you're just screwed. Hmm. Weird that I can't go in there, even whenever I'm drunk. Um, okay, let's see, where am I? Where am I supposed to go? Um, let's see, back out here. Oh, wait. Teeth, flower. I can't attack while I'm drunk either. Uh, okay, let's see. Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, good, I thought the game was out of crashing there again. Um... Okay, I didn't see this break in the wall last time, I don't know how, I must have been blind for a second there. Maybe I need new glasses, who knows. Uh, just kill this, guys, real quick. this game is like the definition of button masher. It's either this or Breath of Death could go for championship button masher. Breath of Death only because like you just mash A just to do your regular attack on the weaker enemies to save your MP. Big cog, look at the detail in the cog, like it's something that I'm only going to see once in the game and the amount of detail on it. I mean, I know EA gets a lot of shit for making uh, games like FIFA and stuff like that, yearly releases and um, like you know it's basically just reusing the same code since like 1992 93 or whatever. Actually, I think there's a FIFA 1990 now that I think about. But, like, I mean, you have to admit, this game is just really well put together. Really beautiful looking, very polished. They have a nice few, like, little features in there that you might not actually notice, and eventually you just kind of go, oh, look. Like the dress thing, that's something that you're actually, like, really, really liable to miss. But, um,. Like, sometimes you'd be playing for like a half an hour with the new dress, and then you just kind of stop and look at Alice and go, Oh, when did that happen? So that's really cool. That's actually one of the reasons why I really like this game. That's the fact that I've always, as I said before, I've always been really, really in love with the whole Alice in Wonderland thing. Like, it's just something that, like, I always, I was always really into. Um, oh, shit, man. Okay, wait, wait. Shit, I can't get it. Oh cool, I can, I 
can attack straight out of an evade. I didn't know that. Well, that's not ominous at all. A door that opens itself. I feel like I've been led into a trap here by somebody like this. It's crazy. I have to say, though, playing this game on controller is a lot easier than playing it on mouse and keys. How did he hit me? He didn't hit me. Oh, oh, Jesus. I'm mauled here. Look at how low my health is. I'm not get just absolutely mauled. And considering that I made it through the last two videos without being like hurt badly, like well, not too badly. Like now, look at my health. Two and a half roses. Three and a half roses. Like that's that's redonk. That's right. I said it. I said redonk. Come get me, society. I'm not gonna follow your, your conventional grammar rules. Um, let's see, I think this is... Is that the way to go, maybe? Um... Sorry, sorry, I was laughing a little bit there, because I'm just kind of lost. Is it the way to go? I don't know, um... I think I can make it. Oh, I know what it is, I can see the little sparkles. It's a shrunk moment. See? There we go. Sorry, that was the end of my breath. You're so lucky that you didn't get the whole thing. Um, yeah, those little shrunk moments really add to the game really well. Because like, there was times whenever I was playing it before that I actually forgot altogether about the shrink power. And then I, I just kind of hit the button by accident and went into it. And was just like, whoa, I forgot that I could do that. And there was like an invisible... There was like an invisible platform like right there in front of me the whole time that I just couldn't see. But if you look really carefully you can actually see little the little purple dots and stuff from it. Like you can just kinda just barely see it. Oh, that was close. That was a close one now. That one was really, really, really close. Um Oh crap, I forgot to Google who does the voice of the Cheshire Cat. I'll Google it after this video, and I will I'll update you in the next video for anybody who's interested. Because if it's not James Earl Jones, it's a guy that sounds a lot like James Earl Jones. Uh, well, at least now I'm getting my uh, my roses back a little bit as well. Um, I almost had a little snafu in this uh, in this video as well, where like it was just whenever you're using the uh, Microsoft game DVR thing to record. To record gameplay. Oh, not another crash. Tell me not another crash. No, okay. Okay. I'm having some weird issues with this game now. That is something I'm going to stop after this video. If I make it through this whole video, that is. But, um, yeah, um, I just, you just kind of, I noticed on the game DVR thing, whenever you're recording, there's a little timer up in the corner of the window that you're recording. And for some reason that was at the edge of my screen and not the thing, so it was nearly a 20 minute long video of me talking about this game. And then, uh, it was nearly a 20 minute long video of me talking about this game. And then, uh, just, just like the Steam overlay, my Steam overlay in, uh, the actual videos, video. that I have to do here, whenever he's down. Does it shoot him in the face? No, I think it's just a timing thing, actually, of how I'm hitting. You can see what I was on about now, actually, in the last video, that I just evade into him and disappear.
I mean, like, it's it's savagely beautiful, really. When I mean, look at it. I would like to continue. Of course I would like to continue. I'm, actually, I'm loving this game so far. I'm I'm freaking loving it. From from the dystopian version. Not even dystopian. Just the warped version of Wonderland. Like the whole idea of it. To the violence. Like it's just not the graphic style. Everything, everything about this game. I just love it all. Okay, we're going to keep going now. With uh, these guys again. Great, 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 great. Well, at least I've got them this time. At least I know how to time them right now. It's a really weird timing thing, isn't it? That if you hit him as he goes down, then he just gets straight back up. Whereas if you just do that and then wait a second before doing it, it's so easy to kill. It's strange. It's really strange actually now that I think about it. Alright, I'm gonna take out this guy's back up first. Let his buddy. Why am I not hitting this guy? There we go. It's the two at a time was the really hard bit. You guys can kind of tell now whenever I'm a little bit out of breath from speaking. You dick! This microphone setup is really getting to me now. Don't know how to light it. I'm 
Okay, so I've just learned that I can turn around and attack whatever's behind me whenever I'm locked on to this guy. Timing in this game is everything, I think. It's just... Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, we're getting to the 15 minute mark, so I'm on, I'm on that bit now. I'm kind of on my last legs, because I can't... I don't know how much longer I can like keep holding my breath for consecutively. It's getting really, really annoying in the tense bits. Because you know they're in a tense bit in the game. You're kind of used to sitting there. Time. Find him and, uh, your own time you know, you, you get into a tense bit, you're about to die, and you just, your breathing speeds up, your heart rate speeds up and everything. Rush yourself and you're just like, oh my god, this is so fucking hard to like not do that and try to control your breathing while you're in a tense bit in the game. It's not something that I've ever had to do before. Uh. Okay then. I'm gonna guess and say that I can't jump through that. I'm not gonna try because I'll probably die. And I've only got a few minutes of this video left, so I wanna kind of leave it off in a nice part. Um, let's just go. Whoa, whoa. There's a lot of uh, tea waterfalls in this bit. I think I may have gone the wrong way. No, nope, wait, never mind. It's cool, it's cool, I got this, I got this. I love running around as a little shrunk Alice though. The only thing is, she's really small so I can't do it in videos because it takes up a lot of time. And this isn't the kind of game that I can grind while I'm not recording. Like Breath of Death, like if I'm having fun with a Breath of Death game and I just, I'm not bothered recording. Like I don't need to. Because, uh, I don't need to because I can just, I can grind, you know? So that's, that's really handy, but in Alice I can't grind because, well, the only thing to do is hoard teeth and, well, to be honest, hoarding teeth, although fun, you know, it's, um, event, like I'm not going to be able to stay in the same area and just hoard all the teeth because I'm going to run out of them really, really quickly. So... Like, I just don't know what to do. Um, yeah, uh, I think I'm going to leave this video here, guys. I'm getting kind of tired, I'm kind of hungry, and kind of sick of holding my breath, too, to be quite honest. So there's the clock. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, like and subscribe for more videos. Leave a, leave a comment. If, if you're going to be nice, leave a comment. I don't want any, any mean comments. That I, just, I don't know why the internet's so fucking cruel. But, you know what, actually don't don't even listen to me, you don't have to like this video, you don't have to subscribe, I'm not going to tell you what to do, leave me a comment if you want, call me an asshole, I am an asshole, I don't care what you think, dick. Okay, um, yeah, okay, goodbye.